Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, big hello, my name's Christine and if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you everyone who is supporting me. So, um, I haven't made a video in a few days. Um, I was planning on doing this hamper that I'm going to be doing, um, Mother's Day hamper. I was planning on doing it um, a couple of days ago, but I've been experiencing really bad toothache. Um, and um, I'm on antibiotics so today is been a good day started my antibiotics yesterday and um, I've got to take them for five days and I'm hoping um, that they're going to sort me out so um, toothache is just the worst isn't it um, about a year ago I cracked um, my second from the back tooth at the bottom um, on some popcorn and it was fine for the first few months and then I ended up having root canal surgery um, to save the tooth and to cut a long story short it has been almost a year since I had the surgery and um, yeah I've been experiencing really bad toothache the pain's actually been given us like triggering me migraines um i've had pain in my shoulder i've just been all the pot um and i went to see the dentist yesterday and she took x-rays and confirmed that it was actually my root canal um tooth that i had the work done on that is actually infected so yeah i'm on antibiotics and i have to go back next week to see the dentist to see what my options are um, I'm hoping that they're going to be able to do the treatment again. I'm hoping that they're just going to be able to kind of clean it all up and then redo it. Um, yeah, I'm really, I really don't want my tooth out. Um, for anybody who ha maybe has been in this situation, let me know in the comments if you've ever had, you know, a tooth out, especially if it's not like if it was my back tooth I think I would be fine to get it out but because it's my second back tooth I feel like because it's um my lower jaw I feel like you know if I'm talking or if I'm laughing people might see the the hole and um yeah I really don't want that so but let me know what you think guys um because yeah my options are I mean, I might not have any option. It depends what the dentist says. Um, I might just have to get the tooth out, but I'm really hoping that I don't have to. But yeah, um, enough doom and gloom. I am feeling good today. Um, like I see, the antibiotics are starting to, to work. So I thought I would come on and do my Mother's Day hamper that, I'm, that I've been planning for quite some time. Um, so it's not going to be a massive hamper because I'll show you the basket. So this is the basket that I got from Poundland. It was a pound and I bought the um, the hamper, um, like the packaging for a pound as well. So you've got this in it. So I've already put that in. Um, and what else did you get? You've got a bow that I think you just pull and it obviously makes your bow and then you've got your cellophane as well. So that was like a pound for the pack. So it's not a huge um, hamper like I say. So that is it there. And the items that I'm going to be putting it in, in it today. Um, so my mum, she loves candles. She likes wax melts. Um, what else have I got? So like I say though, it's not a it's not a huge hammer, so I couldn't put loads in because I was like, oh, I could put chocolates in, I could put gin in, I could put, you know, all, I had all these different ideas. Obviously, you could put whatever you want in yours and the bigger the, the basket, obviously, the more products that you will be able to put in. So yeah, I'll go through them. So you might have seen in a previous video, I bought a hot water bottle. Um, this was £3 from Poundland. I don't even think I've told you the price of it um, and it just come in like a little box um, with a clear lid and I'm not going to be putting it in the box I've took it out of the box but it's a lovely grey fluffy hot water bottle and I love the little pom-poms there so that's the first item that I'm going to be putting in the second item I'm going to be putting in is this um, 
oil burner. This was only a pound from Poundland. These are fabulous. Um, so yeah, then I have got, again, you might have seen in a previous video, I showed you this product. So this is the Ginger Lily Blossom Bath Crystals. This is the Ginger Lily Bath Crystals and um, it's in a lovely little jar with the spoon. Love the wooden spoon. And then I've also got um, some Rose and Ord tea lights. And again, I, I think I showed these in a previous video. These were from um, Asda. And I'm trying to think how much these were. They weren't much, a couple of pounds for these. Um, okay, I also picked up this from Asda. I don't know how well you can see that with this light. So this is a... You're not going to be able to see it. This is called a Renew Room Fragrance Sachet. Um, and this smells absolutely gorgeous. And I think this was something like £1.25 or £1.50. And my mum loves stuff like this. She loves being able to hang them in our wardrobes or in our drawers. So yeah, I picked up that. And then um, I picked up some Escape products. So these are from B&M. And I picked up an Escape candle. Again, you're not going to be able to see it too good with the light. And I'm really sorry, everyone. Um, I wonder if I could turn my ring light up. Bear with us, everyone. I did turn it down because I felt like it was far too light. I think that's made it even worse, hasn't it? I'm not sure, right? Well, we'll go with that. But this smells divine. And um, so it's mandarin, lemon and pink grapefruit scented candle and these were £2.50 from B&M and uh, what's the burn time? So it says burn time is 35 to 45 hours approximate and then I also picked up the matching Escape um, wax melts and um, yeah you might have seen again in a previous video I have gone, I've changed my wax melts and I've started using soya wax um, but I had already picked these up a few weeks ago, so obviously I'm not going to throw them away. So you might be able to see, they're just like, just say escape on them. Uh, you get nine scented wax melts and I think these were £1.50. And um, so my kind of theme was to keep it neutral colours, mostly whites. That's what I kind of wanted um, when I was planning this ham app. Okay, so I'm just going to use this table to rest on. Uh, to show you so what I was going to do is going to put the hot water bottle in first might have to put it on the, on the other side I think right hang on yeah I think that would have to go on its side the hot water bottle so I was going to put the hot water bottle in first like so and I'll leave them for now but then I'm going to dangle them back down so that is the hot water bottle in there. Just fits really nice actually. It's like a sort of, I don't know if it is a full size hot water bottle. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, I mean, it's a decent size. Um, okay, so the next item that I'm gonna put in is these little tea lights. And then I'm just gonna kind of arrange it, you know, so put my, obviously you can bulk the tissue paper up if you want by adding more products. In, um, by adding kind of more um, of the tissue and then you know just to bulk it out a bit okay so we've got that. actually I might put that at that side and I think I'll turn the handle around so that you can see it and then I think I'll put the escape candle there And then I kind of wanted to show the pom-poms. I wonder if it would be better to put the candle at that side. And then I've got my little... Um, oh, hang on, I'll put that at the back. Ooh, right. So I don't know how well you can see that. So in there, obviously I've got my hot water bottle, I've got my wax melts, my oil burner, my candle, my crystals for the bath. 
and um, I'm going to just try turning the light down to see if you would be able to see that better. So there's the basket there, looking really, really cute. I'll just turn that around a bit so you can... Yeah, I think that that looks absolutely just incredible. And I always buy my mum flowers as well. Um, but this is just a little pamper basket. Mostly, I like to give her this off the kids, really. So, yeah, really, really happy with that. So, like I say, I've just arranged all of the products in there. And obviously, you know, there's lots of different things that you could do if your mum is into chocolates and you know Prosecco or whatever alcohol she likes you could stack all different ones what I was actually thinking about was um, my mum loves coffee um, but I don't think she's got is it a cafeteria that they're called I don't think she's got one of them and I seen a one a day in um, Tesco it was five pound and it was a one cup it was so cute um, and I nearly got it, but then I thought, oh, do you know what I've got? I've gotten all of these products. Um, so I thought I'm just going to go with my original idea. But I thought it would be good um, to maybe get, you know, a cup and saucer, um, the cafeteria, some um, loose coffee, some already prepared scones. Or like you could make your own scones, but... I was thinking, you know, to get some really nice scones, um, maybe from Sainsbury's or, you know, like the best scones from Asda, something like that. And, um, yeah, you can also buy the little jars of jam from the supermarkets. So I was kind of thinking, you know, like I could have put some, um, like, tartany tissue paper in here and then put the cafeteria in with the coffee, the cup and the saucer, you know what I mean, a couple of scones, a little bit jam, just like a nice little treat, um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this, so I'll show you how I would wrap this, so with your cellophane, I'm not sure how big this actually is, the cellophane, I'm hoping it's a good size, enough to wrap it, um, in the middle and then I'm going to lift this off at the, at the um, kind of the edges I'm lifting this off at each edge you know just kind of straighten it out and yeah that is going to fit perfect actually so, I mean, if you wanted to at this point, you could um, put an elastic band around there um, just to keep it together, which is probably what I should have done. Okay, I'll just let that go for a moment because I need to make me borrow. So this bowl, um, let's have a look to see what you do with this. Okay, so this is like one of them pull bows. So you basically just pull it all and it makes the bow for you. And it is fell apart. So that is not a good start, is it, to my bow. Never mind. So I will have to try and come up with my own bow. Um, so yeah, if you just bear with us. Okay, sorry about that everyone, um, so I was saying that the bow had snapped, I've managed to make like my own little bow um, and I've tied this and then all I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this around the top to secure it and then what I'm going to do, I've got this lovely little heart here that I wanted to put on. which I think will just make a nice little I think that that will be nice ok 
here. So again, I'm just tying it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just curl these little bits. Where have they gone? So yeah, I'm going to curl these little bits. And here is my hamper. Okay, so I don't know how well you can actually see that. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll take my camera off, or actually I'll turn it, move it down a bit so you can have a better look. So yeah, that is gonna be my Mother's Day hamper. And it's fine, because my mum won't be watching this, so she won't see what I've done. Um, and I just think that that adds a really nice detail to it. And yeah, take care everyone. Thank you for watching and I will see you all again very, very soon. And that's it. So bye for now. And don't forget everybody, if you liked what you saw, Please remember to put a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am nearly at 300 and just cannot believe it. So yeah, it would really help me out if you subscribed. And that's it everyone, so bye for now.